This is your News 4 update, powered by the Bomarito Automotive Group. Hey, good morning, everybody. I'm Maurice Drummond, and here are some stories making headlines. Senator Josh Hawley is calling for a federal civil rights investigation into St. Louis Circuit Attorney Kim Gardner. Now, this morning, he sent a letter to the Attorney General William Barr about the, quote, targeting of the McCloskey family. Senator Hawley says Gardner has abused her power in seizing the McCloskey's guns and pursuing a possible indictment. Earlier this week, President Trump and Governor Mike Parson also weighed in on the possibility of charges against the McCloskeys. Two more people were killed in the city last night. The latest shooting happening on Louisiana near Cherokee in South St. Louis. A man was killed after being shot in the head. Just a few minutes earlier, another man was killed after getting shot on Vanna Venner and North Market. This brings the city's homicide total to 132. And in the midst of a deadly week of violence in St. Louis, Missouri Governor Mike Parson has announced a special session to combat the growing violent crimes in the state. That session begins on July 27th, and it'll focus on key issues, including child welfare, unlawful transfer of weapons, and the lifting the residency requirement of the city of St. Louis. Time now for a check of the forecast. Kent, it was a rough day of weather yesterday, Ooh. and I guess uh, weather-wise, it's going to get a little hot too now. It is, but uh, we're getting a little bit of a break as the front has slipped to the south of the St. Louis area. It's going to be a dry day today, still hot and humid, but not as bad as really anticipated last week when we were looking ahead at this heat wave. This, uh, this front managed to break through, so that's a good thing for us. And we're also looking at an intense weekend heat still. That's the anticipation there, but today... 89 for the high, partly cloudy skies, a dry day, a little hazy, the heat index making it into the mid 90s, but it's that northerly component to the wind that's making the big difference as the front has settled just to the south of our viewing area. So we're going to stay dry for the most part, we anticipate. Can't rule out a pop-up shower, but the, the model says, nope, no rain. Then as we get into tomorrow, remember there's a front to our south that is kind of waving back and forth, maybe lifting north a little bit. And as it does, it could help to trigger a shower or a thunderstorm in the early part of the day, it appears, especially over the southern part of the viewing area. Now, one or two of those could make it into the metro area, but it looks like most of it stays in the southern part of the viewing area. Unfortunately for you folks there, that's where the highest rain chance is. And then it's all about the heat. After the 89 today, 93 on Friday with the heat index at 100. And then as we get into the weekend, high temperatures in the mid to upper 90s, daily heat index readings in excess of 105 most likely. And it looks like the heat and the humidity hang on next week. And we also get into higher chances for some showers and storms.